What's going on guys? Stepping here with you, s &E's Garage. Today we are here in the shop with this 2014 Toyota Camry with the six speed sealed automatic transmission and we are going to go ahead and service it today. <laughs> Now this video should work for any Camry 2007 to 2017 with the six speed automatic transmission. So from 2007 uh, to 2009, the V6 version had the U660E. This video will work for that. And then from 2010 to 2017, both V6 and four cylinder Camrys, this video will work for. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this car up in the air. It is super important that when you start this that your transmission is stone cold. You want the car to be cold. You want the transmission fluid to be cold because you have to warm this transmission up to get it within the correct fluid window to adjust the fluid. So in this vehicle, we're going to want to get the transmission fluid between 95 and 113 degrees. Now there is a couple of different ways you can do that. The way we are going to do it is by using a scan tool to plug into the vehicle and monitor the fluid. There is a pedal dance or a shifter dance that you can do along with shorting out the connector on the OBD2 port. And then that would tell you when to adjust your fluid based on the park um, light on the dashboard. Now the problem with doing it that way is you can't precisely see where the fluid is um, and, and I don't like doing it that way. I like to have eyes on it. I like to make sure I know exactly where my fluid is. So again, we're going to be using a scan tool. I will leave the instructions for the pedal dance in the video right here. All right, guys, so we went ahead and picked up five quarts of WS transmission fluid. The service manual is extremely vague with how much fluid you're going to get out of this thing. So we picked up five quarts to be safe, but we are going to capture what we drain out and measure it. And then what you need to do is you need to put about a half a quart to three quarters of a quart more into the transmission than you drained out and then go through the fluid adjustment procedure. You are also going to need these two part numbers. These are both crush washers. One is for the fill plug and one is for the drain plug. They are part numbers 90430-18008 and 35178-30010. So what we are going to go ahead and do is we are going to start by removing the driver's front wheel. Once we get that wheel off, we'll show you exactly what you need to do behind it. We want to get the fill plug off of the transmission before we drain it because we do not want to drain this transmission until we know we can get the fill plug out. Okay, now once you go ahead and remove the wheel, there is a panel here that you're going to need to remove. Should be held in with two 10 millimeter bolts. And a plastic clip. Okay, and now we can remove it like so. And what you're going to see behind that is our fill plug. So to remove the fill plug, it's going to be a 24 millimeter socket. I'm gonna leave one of these in the video description below. Um, I have this specifically for these Toyota transmissions. Um, it is a, a low profile unit, so it's nice and easy to get in there. And you're just gonna go ahead, slide it in, and pop it. Now we can go ahead and remove it. And here is the washer that we are going to be replacing. So now that we got that off, let's get the car up in the air and let's go over how to drain it. So draining this transmission is super easy, but there's two things we need to do. First, we need to go ahead and remove this drain plug. That is going to be with a six millimeter Allen key. Again, I'll leave one of them in the video description below. And then inserted into the drain plug is a plastic standpipe. Now that standpipe is integral to adjusting the fluid level. So we need to get this out, we'll let it drain until it stops, and then we'll pull the standpipe out. Like I said, we are going to be capturing and measuring what we drain out. When you go ahead and put your Allen key in there, you are just gonna, gonna wanna make sure you get it in there as far as possible to prevent stripping the socket. Okay, so now we cracked it loose.
and we're just gonna let it drain and we're gonna take note of the trans fluid color you'll see here it's a little dark but it's still nice and red which is a good sign and it does not smell burnt whatsoever which honestly is to be expected when the fluids only got about you know 35 36 thousand miles on it that's really that's nothing for one of these uh, services this really technically didn't need to be done until 60,000 miles like I said earlier but just because of the age of the car we decided let's go ahead and do it um, so we're gonna like I said we're gonna let this drain until this stops draining and then we'll be back with you and we'll pull the plastic standpipe all right so this has slowed down to a drip here so that tells me that you know the fluid is up to the standpipe now so now we're gonna stick our six millimeter allen key up there and we're going to unscrew and remove the standpipe and for what it's worth when you reinstall this guy you're going to want to do it finger tight you don't need to go any more than finger tight I just got myself right in the face with trans fluid. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pull the standpipe. Here it is. And again, we're just going to let this complete draining. And I'm gonna wipe off my forehead. All right guys, so this is now done draining. So we're gonna go ahead, reinstall our standpipe. This is absolutely paramount to adjusting your transmission fluid. So do not forget to put it back. Just go ahead and grab a ratchet. And again, this thing is plastic. So do not kill it when it stops, it's tight. To get it past that lip. Now tighten it by hand like that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead, we're going to use our old crush washer because we are going to be removing this again uh, shortly. And we're just going to snug this up and then let's go over how much we removed from the transmission. All right, so without dropping the pan and the filter and all that fun stuff, we got a little bit over two quarts out of this thing. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pump three quarts in it. We're gonna overfill it by probably three quarters of a quart just to kind of flood it with some new transmission fluid. And then when we go ahead and do the adjustment procedure, like I said, we will go ahead and drain that excess out to get it right where it needs to be. Now, I do recommend adding more than it needs because you don't ever wanna be in a position where you open this when you get into the fluid window and nothing comes out because now it's crunch time and you have to rush to go ahead and add more fluid to this until the fluid comes out and then you risk uh, getting outside of your window and having to start over and it's just, it's not a good time. So let's go ahead. We're going to be using a fluid transfer pump. I'll leave one of them in the video description below. Uh, this is the guy that we have right here. It screws right into the WS bottle. And then we can go ahead and pump it in the trans. So let's lower the car down to about waist height and let's start pumping and dumping. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna stick this end into the trans like so. We're gonna stick the other end into the WS trans fluid and we're just gonna pump. Now I'm not gonna bore you while I do this for three quarts. I just kinda wanted to show you the process here. Um, so let's go ahead. We're just gonna finish this off camera and then we'll be back with you. All right, guys, we went ahead, installed our new crush washer here on this uh, fill plug. And we're just going to go ahead. My rooster's gonna chime in and tell you what we're doing, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna snug that down. Okay, we're just gonna snug this. We're not gonna murder it. Just enough to crush that crush washer a little bit going to take some brake clean and spray that out and then we're going to go ahead and put our shield back in all right guys so what we have here is what i like to call our umbilical cord setup we have a extension cord going into the car to the obd2 port and here we have our automatic transmission oil temperature graft 
Now, like I said, we need to get this between 95 and 113 degrees. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna hop in the car, I'm gonna start it up. And before we get out of the car and start monitoring that fluid, we need to do something um, that is super important to making sure that we get this level correctly. So we're gonna keep our foot on the brake. We're gonna start the car. Okay. And now you're going to start and park. You need to go reverse, neutral, drive, standard. And you're going to do this several times. What this is going to do is allow the fluid that you just put in to make its way throughout the valve body and through the transmission so that when you drain the excess, you're not draining too much. The fluid will be everywhere that it needs to be. Let's do it one more time. And we're gonna end in park. Okay, so now let's get out. Let's get the car up in the air and let's prep for when our fluid is in the window. All right guys, we're at about 89 degrees. Now I am gonna leave a link to my Amazon affiliate store in the video description below. In there, you'll find several X-Tool scan tools that will get this job done for you the correct way. Like I said, I always recommend doing this with a scan tool because you can be precise and know exactly when to open your drain plug. So we're up to 90 and a half now. We're about five degrees away. So just sit tight. As soon as we get there, we'll pop this open. 95, let's go. Okay, and we are just going to let this slowly trickle until it slows to a stop. Now you are just gonna to wanna to keep a close eye on your window if this does not stop draining before like you know by the time your window is up you're gonna want to throw this back in let the transmission cool back down and start over but we're only sitting at 96 degrees right now and I can already tell you it's from my experience it's starting to slow down now so we're gonna be perfectly fine at this point you're gonna go ahead and put your new crush washer on your drain plug sitting at 98 degrees all right and that is what I would consider a nice thin stream I am good with that let's go ahead and put our drain plug back in and torque it this back, which is good and tight. Go ahead and give it a real nice wipe down. We don't want any drips in our customer's driveway. That would not be a good experience for them. Let's go ahead and lower the car down. All right, guys, and that is going to be it for this video. You just serviced the sealed six speed front wheel drive automatic transmission in your Toyota or Lexus. Like I said, this transmission or this series of transmission was used in the Camry all the way from 2007 to 2017. Same with the Lexus uh, ES350, same thing. So this video will wi uh, work with a wide range of vehicles, Toyota Venza, Toyota Highlander. Um, so I hope it helped you. Please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.